PCOS is a common hormonal disorder which is seen in women of childbearing age between the ages of 14 to 45. Mainly the hormonal disorder is uh, imbalance between the hormones present in the female body. The hormones responsible for the imbalance are androgen and insulin. Androgen is the hormone which is commonly seen in males and it is seen in a lesser amount in the female body. But the patients with PCOS have higher amount of androgen levels. The other hormone is insulin. Insulin is a hormone responsible for metabolism of glucose. In PCOS, there is a decrease in insulin sensitivity. That is, the cells in the body are they're not able to metabolize the glucose properly and, and hence it causes insulin insensitivity. The cause of PCOS is not fully understood, but the research says that it is related to genetic as well as environmental factors. The prevalence of PCOS in India varies in from between 3.7% to 20%. Uh, the first symptom is irregular periods or missed periods. The patients typically have irregular menstrual cycle and sometimes they also have a missed period that is they skip periods in between. This is because of uh, hormonal imbalance which causes delayed or absence of ovulation which in turn causes missing of the periods and irregular period. The next symptoms are symptoms of excessive androgen in the body. As we discussed earlier, in PCOS, androgen levels are higher in women, that is the uh, presence of male sexual hormone. So due to the presence of excessive androgens, the symptoms uh, that may occur are uh, baldness, that is male pattern of baldness, that is thinning of hair and presence of uh, bald spots on the skin. Uh, apart from their excessive acne, hirsutism, that is presence of facial hair and increased hair over chest, back and all over the body. The third symptom is uh, presence of dark black patches over the skin of elbow, over the neck and over the back. The third symptom is weight gain. About almost half of the patients of PCOS have excessive weight gain and they find the gained weight difficult to lose. Next is infertility. As we know now that PCOS has hormonal imbalance and this can cause an ovulation that is absence of ovulation or delayed ovulation. This can cause infertility because there is inability of the mature egg to release from the ovary. PCOS is one of the leading cause of infertility nowadays. Fatigue and mood changes. These are less commonly explored and less understood symptoms, but patients with PCOS often experience increased fatigue. Due to that, there is decrease in sleep and this again causes fatigue. Apart from this, body issues as like uh, increased weight gain and infertility may lead to depression and anxiety issues. Not only these symptoms, but a patient of PCOS can have higher chances of developing high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, heart disease and stroke in future. Now let's come to the diagnosis part. PCOS can be diagnosed by a variety of tests such as blood levels and uh, ultrasound. Now let's come to the management part. Basically, there is no cure for PCOS, but there are treatment options available which can help to decrease the symptoms and help in uh, making the patient live better. Only lifestyle modifications such as maintaining a proper exercise routine, having healthy diet can help in easing out the symptoms of PCOS. In obese patients, even 5% of weight loss can help in easing out the symptoms and decreasing the insulin resistance and increasing the productivity. Simple dietary measures like having homemade food, eating seasonal fruits, cutting down on processed foods and uh, cutting down practices like cooking in microwave, cooking in aluminum vessels or plastic vessels can help in improving the symptoms. In, while in exercise, doing strength training exercises, yoga and pilates help, have been uh, known to have decreased the symptoms and uh, increasing in the insulin sensitivity. Apart from lifestyle modifications, some medications are also there which help in improving the symptoms like birth control pills which help in uh, regularizing the menstrual cycles. Uh, a drug called as metformin which helps in insulin sensitivity as well as myoinositol which helps in the symptoms of PCOS. In women with infertility uh, with PCOS, 
there are treatment options available along with lifestyle modifications such as ovulation induction and artificial reproduction technology. The bottom line is that a combination of both lifestyle modification and medications play an important role in PCOS management. Any person who is suffering from the above symptoms should consult their gynecologist as soon as possible because timely interventions help a lot. Lastly, PCOS is not a disease which will go away after taking medication or doing any lifestyle modification. It is there for lifetime. So the efforts that one takes to maintain a healthy lifestyle should continue lifelong. You may feel that it is difficult to uh, reduce the excess weight and keep it off, but it is important that you should keep on do, uh, doing the efforts to maintain a healthy lifestyle because at the end it is your efforts that make a difference. These efforts help in reducing the risk of developing serious health complications that can affect women with PCOS more than they affect the other women.